Hey guys, Dirk here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we're going to go over how to transfer large files from Linux to Windows and vice versa. So as you can see, I have a Windows machine running in a VirtualBox VM. I'm not going full screen to record it because we actually need both Linux and Windows in this video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up an SSH server. Now, I wrote that article in the description there for Ubuntu because most people are using Ubuntu but if you're using Arch Linux like me you will need to follow the guide linked in that tutorial to set up an SSH server and enable it. That's to the ex that's the extent you need to set up on on Linux. On Windows what you need to do is uh, once I log in you need to set up FileZilla. Now the reason you need FileZilla is because it's an FTP client and SSH has a feature that gives you automatic uh, file transfer support like it gives you a secure FTP server so to install FileZilla you can pretty much just type in FileZilla in the Windows box here and it will give you the download and it's also linked in the tutorial but from the Windows computer that you are transferring files to from Linux or if you're transferring files from the Windows computer to the Linux computer you need FileZilla on Windows once you get it installed you can launch FileZilla from Windows I don't think I have it installed so I'm going to download it. I thought I did, but uh, so we'll quickly go over how to download it. You just click the download button like so, click download and uh, run it. And it shouldn't be too much longer to get it going. All right, so now we have FileZilla open on the Windows computer. It's time to go back to the Linux computer and figure out our host. And as you can see, the host, uh, my my terminal is just my username and then the current directory. I have it customized, but the host name for my desktop computer is Ryzen Dash Desktop. So these computers are both on the same LAN, and uh, you can confirm this. And it's going to be different in a virtual machine, but uh, if you're using two physical computers, you know you won't have to do what I do. But I just they're on the same LAN. So what you can do is you can type in. Ryzen for my for my computer desktop. Now this is the same thing as typing in the IP address because they're both on the LAN. The Windows computer in FileZilla will search for that. And actually, if you ping your host name, so you can do cat Etsy host name, and you can do uh, like for me Ryzen desktop. If I ping it, it's going to tell me that my IP address is this one right here internally. But it's easier to just write that. From there, I can write my username, and now my username is the current user here. So it would be Derek and then just the password I used to log in and then the port number is port 22 because it's over SSH now I click quick connect now it's going to ask me if I want to save my password I will click OK it's going to put out a connection to the server alright so the first time you initiate a connection over SSH through FileZilla it's going to give you an unknown host key uh, pop up. This is just like if you log in over SSH on your Linux computer. Just click always trust this host because you know it's your computer and then click the OK button. It will retrieve the directory and now we can see my home folder over here. So if I want to transfer transfer, excuse me, a uh, a big file or a, you know maybe even a small file to my computer, my my Windows computer to my Linux computer and vice versa. I do the following. Oh, well, let me get to the desktop first here. Okay, so to transfer from Linux to Windows, first you need to find a directory. Now I have a lot of stuff in my Dropbox folder. A lot of disk images for various operating systems that I have backed up. So let me see where disk images. So now I have this 4 gigabyte Windows 10 ISO. Now I can right click on it and I can select download and that will automatically download to the Windows computer completely over SSH. There's no need to install convoluted programs on both Linux and Windows. You pretty much just install the FTP client on your Windows computer. You enable SSH on your Linux and that's all you've got to do really. And it will download just like a normal file. And uh, I don't know if you guys have ever used FTP, but this is insanely useful considering SSH has a file transfer server built into it. You don't have to configure it, you just have to turn it on. So I use it all the time for LAN just for transferring files. You know, FileZilla makes it definitely useful. So once the transfer is finished, we can see on the desktop that our large file that we transferred from Linux is now on the Windows desktop. 
So that is how you transfer large files from Linux to Windows, and we used SSH and FTP. Now we're going to go over how you can transfer, as I accidentally opened up the mail app in Windows. Now we're going to go over how to transfer it to Windows, so uh, from Windows to Linux. So let's go to my desktop here, because then you can see it pop right up on the desktop over here. So same thing, just go to this site. So local site is Windows, remote site is Linux. Go to your local site, find your file, right click, upload. Now you can see right here instantly the Windows computer is sending me this file and I'm downloading it. It's already on the desktop and all I gotta do is wait for the file transfer to complete. So if you have a large folder with lots of documents or you know maybe music files and you wanna get it to from a Windows computer to a Linux computer, this is the best way to go. I know it's just FTP and a lot of people switch to modern solutions these days, but honestly, FTP still works. It's still pretty pretty great. Any uh Anyways, guys, if you need more information on how to set this all up, there is a detailed write-up that I wrote in the description of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration, and I will see you in the next one.